Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure that you have seen these formulae many times, those are to calculate the perimeter and the area of a circle, given its radius. Have you ever asked how these formulae are derived? Let's look again at the formulae one by one. Why does the perimeter of a circle with radius r equal the product of 2 pi and its radius? And why does the area of the circle equal pi times the square of its radius? We are going to answer these two questions in this video. Many of you might know different methods to their derivation. Today I would like to share with you a simple one. And it can be extended for the calculation of the surface and the volume of a sphere in 3D. Let's start with a circle and its inscribed regular polygons. Square, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, hendecagon, dodecagon, tridecagon, tetradecagon, and so on. Poof! You would soon forget their Latin name. So do I. These names are not that important in this context. However, there is one important observation that I would like to draw your attention to. Let's look at them one more time. Have you discovered something? The higher the number of edges, the closer to the circle this regular polygon becomes. In other words, the regular polygon will become a circle when the number of edges tends to infinity. It means, we could calculate the perimeter and area of a circle throughout the counterparts of its inscribed regular polygons. Now we can calculate the perimeter and area of a square, pentagon, etc., generalize the formula and calculate its limit, when the number of edges tends to infinity. Looking back to a regular square inscribed in the given circle, its perimeter, denoted by p, 4, is the sum of its edges. 4 is the number of the edges of a square. Each edge can easily be calculated by 2 times the radius times sin, 2 pi divided by 8, as the given formula. Also, the area of this square denoted by a, 4, is the sum of the area of the triangles, each created by the center of the circle and an edge of the square. The area of such a triangle is half of the square of the radius times sin, 2 pi divided by 4. The perimeter and area of a regular square inscribed in the given circle are summarized here. Similarly, one could easily find the formulae for the perimeter p, 5, and area a, 5, of a regular pentagon, inscribed in the given circle, as shown on the left side. Have you now seen the common point in these formulae? It lies in the number of the edges of regular polygon. It means, if a regular polygon inscribed in the given circle has n edges, its perimeter p, n, and area a, n, are calculated as in the formulae. We are going to calculate the limit of p, n, and a, n, when n tends to infinity. Thanks to the Taylor series, the sin function is expressed as a polynomial of infinite order of the argument. So is p, n. As n tends to infinity, the higher order of this polynomial tends to zero. Accordingly, we get the limit of p, n. Following similar steps, the limit of a, n, is obtained. And these limits are consonant with the formulae of perimeter and area of a circle. We have arrived there.